How is it going, y'all? Eddie hates anime here. It's been a minute. Actually, it's Eddie hates Mariners here. Yeah, y'all thought y'all thought she was sweet. Y'all thought I was a Mariners. <laughs> I'm wearing the shirt out of necessity, not out of want, out of need. It's a good workout shirt. Although I'm not working out right now, it's a good shirt. I'm a Dodgers fan. Better not forget it. But what's more, what I'm more of a fan of the Dodgers, the anime. You, you know what else is crazy? IGN. I'm not a fan of IGN. I, 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 I'm not. I'm indifferent towards them. I don't hate them. I love them. I just they exist. They made a top. I'm not even really looking at the picture because I don't want to spoil it. The top 15 shown in anime of all time. Let's see the reasoning. I have a feeling. Okay, here's my reasoning, right? Because whenever people, whenever lists come out or whenever people make videos like music reviewers or any any reviewer of any media. Whenever they say their favorites, their tops, or put a series over another, or a media over another, it's always met with outrage from one person or another. And I always find it funny, because I will always defend reviewers, like myself, uh, because, in my opinion, right, let, like, let's say a top 10 anime list, and I'm not defending IGN here, by the way, I'm just, I'm just forefronting it with this. If everyone in the world, every single anime watcher, made a video about their top 10 anime, not one of them... And every and everyone watched them. Every anime fan watched them. Not one of them would go without a bunch of angry comments. Because there's just so fucking many. Same with any other media. There's so much that you can't get it all. And you can't be 100% right. Now the difference between that and what I'm assuming this is going to be. Because it seems like it's going to be one of those CBR type bullshits. Is as long as it's respectable in terms of like they, 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 they explain their points... It makes sense, and you can kind of see it from their point of view, it, it, even if it's a biased thing. Like, you could be like, okay, their taste is kind of like that, and this is a good series, or maybe they like this more than this type of thing. Then it's like, okay, it's still a good list, even if I disagree with it, because I, I, I understand what you're doing there. Now I have a feeling that I'm not going to understand what IGN's cooking here. Although, off of this picture, I'm not mad at the picture so far. Hunter x Hunter makes sense. A lot of people love it. It's pretty damn good. Naruto, a lot of people love it. It's pretty damn good. Dragon Ball, a lot of people love it. It's pretty damn good. And I'm sure, I, I mean, this says it's by Ro Moore, so let's all laugh at Ro Moore. I'm just kidding. Ro Moore, shout out to you, man. I'm, I'm not breaking any YouTube rules, man. We're not gonna laugh at him. We're gonna laugh at his list. There's a difference, okay? YouTube, shut up. Uh, <laughs> God damn it. Uh, <laughs> what a way to start my return on YouTube after two months. Look, man, it wasn't my fault. I have videos planned. Kagura B uh, Abachi, I think is what it's called. Video soon. I want to make a video about that. Look forward to that. I'll, uh, by this weekend, I'm sure. Sometime in the next few days. But for now, we're talking about this. I I'm sure they were trying to strike a balance between personal list and like what the people will think. But almost never does an out-of-touch <laughs> anime or media reviewer on one of these fucking blog sites... Uh, know what the audience likes, you know, if that makes sense. I don't know how to put it. I don't know how to put it Let's just get into it. There's something about a show about shown an anime that just resonates with viewers Perhaps it is because the medium offers the widest range of narrative styles. I Mean I I don't do do we agree with that take chat. Is that is that real? Uh, whether it's action drama sci-fi fantasy supernatural sports school horror Mystery, historical, or comedy. There's a short anime just waiting for you. I mean, I guess. I guess. I, I'm, I don't know. Whatever. Okay, it sounds cool. The most well-known may be the action or coming-of-age stories, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. I mean, that is true. That is true. Shonen is just more than Battle Shonen, but I wouldn't say it's the medium that offers the widest range of narrative styles. I wouldn't really say any of them do. If we're talking, like, demographic especially, I wouldn't say that, like, signing does more than Shonen or Shonen does more... I, maybe Shonen does do more. I'm not sure, man. I'm gonna be honest. I'm uh, Someone smarter than me knows better than me. I'm not even gonna talk about that. Uh, this style of anime targeting a younger audience makes space for a variety of themes, so its popularity turned out several massive crowd pleasers. Despite the countless number of good shows available, there are some extremely well-made Shonen anime that stand out from the pack. The best of the best hit of all the highlights, likable characters, engaging action scenes, rich and compelling themes, rooted in adventure, friendship, learning right from wrong, and overcoming obstacles. They offer a variety of animation styles with relatable character designs and engaging color schemes at their core. Jota's Bizarre Adventure being one of them. And I bet it's not even gonna be on this fucking list. And I'm gonna laugh at it. Although it does say, best anime. 
So if they mention one here where the anime is garbage and the an and the manga is good, I'm gonna double laugh at them. I'm not saying that JoJo's anime is not good. Only reason I thought about this is because I was gonna say part seven, but then I remembered, oh, this is an anime list. Although I still think JoJo's wouldn't be an awful top fifteen pick. I think it'd be a pretty good one, in my humble opinion. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> Don't laugh at my list. I'm just I'm just informing y'all. This is an educational video. Uh, it's not enough to simply follow the formula. The best shonen offers something extra that keeps you coming back again and again. So which ones stand out the most? With all this in mind, and understanding this is constantly a whole, uh, hotly debated list, here are my top 15 picks for shonen anime. 15. Wait a minute. It's not enough to simply follow the formula. That being said, Black Clover! I love Black Clover, don't get me wrong. I, I Bible Black Clover a lot. But it's because it follows the formula, it just does it pretty good. That's mainly why I, I don't go to Black Clover expecting anything new. It has surprised me a few times, but like I, I don't go into it like this is going to change the genre of Battle Shonen, you know? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, he probably mentions it. I already see it. Although the character archetypes and story setup are pretty straightforward and the animation occasionally inconsistent. Okay, so we are talking anime, which fair, fair. Black Clover is driven by solid writing and highly relatable themes. Okay. I mean, I'm not mad at it. Especially, it also depends on what he's seen. It definitely depends on what he's seen. Because if your 15th is Black Clover, but you've only seen 30, great pick. If you've seen like 100, it's more debatable, right? So I guess that also depends on that. I, I wish with these lists we could also see all the ones they've ever seen. They should do that. <laughs> because it, it might help a little bit. Uh, but you know what? I, I do vibe with Black Clover. I'm not pissed at this pick, but I guess it depends on what's above it and what gets left out. So we'll revisit this later. Next, we got Assassination Classroom. Okay, Assassination Classroom aims for right for your feels and your funny. I, I Look, I'm going to be completely honest. I don't remember much of Assassination Classroom story. Watched it in like ninth grade, but I do remember I cried at the end and I really fucking liked it when I was watching it. Is it because I was a teenager and I was made for that because I, I was a shonen demographic? Maybe. Would it still be good now? I'm honestly not sure. It probably would be. I don't see why it wouldn't be. Because I remember it being kind of like up that weird alley that I kind of like where it's like really goofy but still hits. If that makes sense. Um, I definitely want to rewatch it one of these days. But I'm, once again, not mad at it. I'm yet to see anything that stands out like even if it's a bad list at least give me a few bold ones you know give me like a give me a fucking uh kanojo no kanojo or whatever the fuck give me something stupid man give me something stupid or give me something peak i don't care uh but so far oh oh if attack and titan is 13 this could be a very funny list depending on what's under or what, what's over it because look i'm not saying attack and titan is a perfect series I'm one of the people that think the ending isn't as bad as everyone says. I don't think it's a perfect ending, but I think it makes sense, which is at least better than an ending that doesn't make sense. But we're not here to talk about that. And even then, outside of the ending, I think it's a pretty fucking good series outside of that, even if you didn't like the ending. So while the ending is a big part of the story, it was still an awesome journey up to it. Uh, but it being a 13 is honestly surprising, especially seeing that this is kind of a normie list. Not that being a normie is a bad thing. It's just for back, lack of a better term. God damn it, though I have high energy for a guy that's about to go to sleep in an hour. But, okay, let's see what's above this. Okay, y'all. It, it was a fun video while it lasted. You know, I, I went 40 days without making a video on this channel. I said, you know what, we're back. I'm not gonna lie, we're gonna have to take another break. We're gonna have to take another break. We're taking another break. Call of the Night! Over Attack on Titan! Look, look. I like Call of the Night. I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> is it better than Attack on Titan? In my opinion, no. I wonder, is this a case? Because this happens both ways. Do you guys ever notice the fucking slice of life or romance fans that think they're way better than Shonen Watchers? Because we like this and it's not the normie thing. We're so cool. But it happens so often that they've become normie themselves. Now there's just normie shonen and normie slice of life. It's the same fucking thing at this point. Because they're just seasonal watches of slice of life. <laughs> Which isn't a bad thing. It's just funny because they become the very thing that they've sworn to destroy, you know? Um, but 
I don't think it's the case of that. I think he just genuinely thinks that. I, it was a kind of a bold one. I do like Call of the Night, though. Uh, more for its aesthetic than its story, if that makes sense. I'm not an anime watcher. I'm a manga reader, although I like what I've seen from the anime, especially seeing it as Shaft and the director. I Or, no, it's not Shaft, is it? It's it, But I know it's the director or one of the directors of Monogatari. I know they have, like, three different ones. Let me, let me look it up. It was Leiden Films, which is very crazy because Leiden Films, I feel like, is pretty hit or miss. Um, but in this case, I feel like it was a hit in terms of adaptation. Um, but assuming the story is the exact same as the manga, story is not my favorite, but the aesthetic keeps me going, if that makes sense. Like, I, I really like the art in both the manga and the anime, and it, especially the manga. I, the anime, it's more like the the oohs and the ahs, like the sakuga, if that makes sense. And, and definitely the backgrounds and shit as the aesthetic but in terms of like character art i really like the manga um but it, it, like it's not definitely not bad it's just over attack on titan it's kind of crazy i'm not gonna lie naruto 11 another one where i think it depends on what you like me if it was younger me a more a more unwise me i, I might have been like ah this is awful because <laughs> i was one of those normies you know naruto was good until the war arc now after having reread it a little bit more mature now i like naruto a lot more I definitely do. And I understand Sasuke's character and like Sasuke's characters a lot more. But that's a story for another time. Oh, wait. I already made a fucking video about that. Go watch my video on it. Um, okay. Oh, I spoiled myself. I was going to say, once again, depends on what's above it. One Piece of 10 is a fucking... That's a hot take, I'm sure. Because if you know One Piece fans, if One Piece isn't your top one, you don't, you're not a One Piece fan to them. You know? That's how it goes. I would love to see what's above One Piece. One Piece above Naruto, I don't think is a bad take. I don't necessarily think it's... Like, I don't want to say it's the absolute, definitive, correct take. But having read both... I'm not caught up on One Piece, but still pretty far. Um, I definitely think... Like, One Piece is a thousand plus chapters of consistency is very impressive. Although that's compared to most series. Naruto is still like 700 chapters-ish, right? Still pretty consistent. I don't know. I, it's crazy because it depends. What do you value more? Naruto or like a Bleach, which were good from the start. Or a One Piece that, in my humble opinion, is okay at the start but gets really good later. Um, while Naruto and Bleach, I feel like, were really good kind of, kind of the whole time, to be honest. But once again, that's my opinion. If y'all disagree with that, that's fine. Because I know a lot of One Piece fans think it was amazing and fucking peaked 10 out of 10 from the start. I have to disagree. But One Piece 10, I still... Th I don't know if I would even do that. I, I feel like my One Piece might make my top 5. I, I haven't made a show in list and I probably never will. But that's crazy. Also, the, the live action was awesome. Go watch it. Oh my god! No! No! We're cooked. We're cooked, guys. Demon Slayer... Demons, <laughs> Demon Slayer above One Piece, above Naruto, above Attack and Titan. Oh my god, we're cooked. We're actually cooked. I'm not even a Demon Slayer hater. I'm just not a Demon Slayer dick writer. There's a huge difference. I, oh my god, I knew there was going to be some doozies in here. You know why? Because my friend Zan texted me saying, <laughs> this is certainly something. <laughs> I'm going to text him. Demon Slayer 9. Oh my god. Look, I like Demon Slayer. I don't know what, like... Because I'm, I'm not going to disrespect it. I'm not going to be one of those people that are like, it's only popular because the anime adaptation is good. Ugh. No. It, it's clearly big for a reason, whether it's cultural in Japan or because it resonated with more readers in general. But... Uh, that, that doesn't make it better than One Piece. <laughs> it doesn't make it better than One Piece. This is probably my most annoying video ever. I'm sorry. I'm just I'm, it's on one today. I see Dragon Ball Z88. What, whatever you believe about Dragon Ball, whether it's correct or misinformed because you haven't watched the series in like 20 years and you watch the dub with the bad translation or you for some reason fucking think that the, the Team 4 Star adaptation is better, which you're fucking dumb if you do. Although, I, I don't get me wrong. I do love Team 4 Star and what they do, but there's some people who genuinely think it's better than the original, the source material, which is strange to me. Um... We got to remember, let's get super out of our minds for a second. Dragon Ball Z, original Dragon Ball, I prefer, don't get me wrong, but Dragon Ball Z is still pretty fucking good. It's still pretty fucking good. And even though 
I'm not gonna claim it was like the the anime that you know that 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 made all other anime the way they are because a lot of people were like Dragon Ball Z is the the, for, the the father of anime. No, there, there's tons and tons of animes that came out decades before it that inspire it and then it pays it forward. That's the thing. I'm not gonna get into a dick measuring contest of which oh my series came out before yours. No, it, it's a good thing that anime pay it forward to the next generation. But a lot of the anime on this list so far wouldn't be around without Dragon Ball, and I definitely respect that. Although, does that go into how good a series is? No. Yet, I still think Dragon Ball Z is pretty good. A, I wouldn't be mad at if it wasn't right next to Demon Slayer. Because I'm not going to lie. Y'all might disagree with this because it's, it's it's kind of a fad to hate on Dragon Ball these days. Because, I, I mean, I get it. It's like, it is the biggest anime, maybe besides One Piece, in terms of like, you go and ask someone that doesn't watch anime if they've seen Dragon Ball. More than likely, they'll say yes compared to any other anime. If you guys get what I'm saying. But, <laughs> um, where was I going with this? Oh, fuck. I'm not even editing this video, so I don't even know what I was going with that. Um, oh, it's easy to rag on it because it's like a, a normie anime. But, like, if you really think about it, and if you go rewatch the series now, without filler, or I guess read the manga, close enough, even though they're a little different, it's still pretty solid. Like, if, and hype as well. Y'all remember those those hype ass arcs? I know you do. I know you fucking do. Regardless of whether it's simple or not, because I know these days everyone wants their fucking deep ass series, which I get. But I also like that they have one note villains like Frieza and uh, Cell, which like in terms of like they're just bad. You know, I, I do like bad villains a lot because we don't get them that much these days. I, I, even though I do like the morally ambiguous or the morally uh, conflicted villain, I, I do also like my just plain evil villains, which Dragon Ball has. A, a decent amount of um the broly movie came out recently that wasn't z but i just wanted to mention that was awesome uh the superhero movie i watched it it was funny but i do have my issues with it i talked about that in another video but I, i'm oh shit i just spoiled myself again but a i'm not mad at overall we're gonna ignore the demon slayer i want to see what's above it and i do see jojo's not mad at that depending on what's above it once again jojo's is fucking amazing i don't give a fuck what you say it's awesome it there, there's no other series like JoJo's. And, I mean, they're, they're, I'm sure someone's going to mention, like, Baki or Fist of the North Star or something in terms of, like, Fist of the North Star influenced in Baki's also just fucking weird. But in terms of just, like, as a whole, JoJo's is very unique. Um, it, And I fucking love it. Both in story, vibe, art, everything. Oh, my God, I spoiled myself again. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um... I'm not mad at this. I actually like this take. Although, I probably would have it higher, to be honest. At 6, we got Hunter Hunter. I'm not even going to go below. Too far. Uh... Okay, we're good. Hunter Hunter at 6. I feel like a lot of Hunter Hunter fans are going to be mad at that. Would I have it above JoJo's? No. Would I have it above... Naruto and One Piece? Honestly? Honestly, no. Although I understand if you do. I think Hunter Hunter is pretty damn good too. Um, would I put it above Dragon Ball? With Dragon Ball Z? Honestly, this is my hot take of the day. Possibly not. That's my hot take of the day. Like I said, I know it's easy to rag on Dragon Ball because because it's you know the fans can be annoying as fuck. But I still think it's pretty good. Um... Yeah, well, let's see what the next one is. Death Note. Okay. Look, I'm still a Death Note defender to this day. I think the last arc isn't nearly as bad as people make it out to be after a certain character's death. Although I do understand that position. I think Death Note is an amazing story even to this day. I showed my dad it a couple years ago and it was still really, really good. Um, and every time I rewatch it, it's still really, really good. And there's just nothing like that tension in this series. There's nothing like it between Light and L. The, the tension is so fucking good. You can't keep your eyes away from it. I'm not mad at this take. Especially it being in someone's top 10 shonen. It's just... It's like some of these anime aren't bad anime for this list. It's just mind-boggling the order they're in, if that makes sense. Like, I'm trying to help this... I'm trying to help homie here justify his list. Like, I can't do it. I'm just like, yeah, this is a good series. But the number is kind of weird. Let's go to the next one. Yu Yu Hakusho... Hold on, I gotta drink some fucking water. Mm. 
Yu Yu Hakusho is a great one too. Now, I I, I don't want to say unfortunately, but I, fortunately for me, I don't know. I'm part of the camp that kind of prefers Yu Yu Hakusho to Hunter Hunter a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Um, so once again, I'm not gonna be. Y'all will probably be mad that this is about Hunter Hunter. I'm not. What I'm mad about. I don't know. I'm not really mad about anything. I'm just laughing at this fucking list. Um, you know what? Not mad at that. But once again, depends on what's going to go above it. The real part of this video is going to start when we see the whole list. Look, y'all. I fucking love Jujutsu Kaisen. I love Jujutsu Kaisen. Like, I fucking adore this series. It's fucking amazing. But I'm kind of scared for the last two on this list. Especially if Chainsaw Man hasn't been here yet either. That's going to be either one or two. Or it's not on here. Which I, I don't know if I'm ready to take. I'm trying to think of some other ones. Let me let me actually go. I'm just going to search up Shonen Manga. Because there's a lot. And they're not all in my brain right now. Because it's pretty late. Shonen Manga. <laughs> I'm just going to look at some of these. There is a lot here that are not on this list that I'm looking at. That. Oh my god. I'm not ready for this top two. Let's just, let's just rip off the band-aid. Okay. This is the only one here that I don't have an opinion on because I, it's the only one here that I haven't seen. But from what I've heard, this is probably a good take, right? I don't know. Y'all tell me. I heard, I heard it's a good-ass anime. Uh, in fact, it's an amazing anime, uh, according to y'all. And I, I still do the plan to watch it. Just give me a break, man. I'm a busy guy. So we're going to ignore that one. Let's go to number one. Oh, shit. Sorry, I'm recording a video. Oh, my God, man. Once again, it's kind of another one where it's like, I liked it. Don't have the same opinion as the like the hardcore fans on it. And I, do we even want to talk about my anime list? Because I've never seen such an insecure fan base before. But we're not even going to talk about that. Um, <laughs> but if we're just talking purely story, it's another one where it's like, I'm not surprised because I see so many people have it at the top one. It's just kind of a boring answer, isn't it? Um... It's a good anime, though. It is a good anime. But I don't know, man. I don't really... I, I do kind of disagree with this list. And I'm surprised that Chancellor Man wasn't up there if Jujutsu Kaisen was. Because I was like, oh, maybe he doesn't care and just wants to put some recent ones up there. I do know... <laughs> Call of the Night should not be on here. Black Clover probably shouldn't be on here. Let me actually go back to this random list of shonen manga. Oh, Haikyuu fans are probably fuming right now. Um, let's see what else we got here. Bloom into you is a shonen manga. Pretty good manga. Um, Hori me is considered shonen. No way. Is it? Oh yeah. Cause it isn't a shonen magazine, isn't it? Yo. Okay. Hori me is better than Call of the Night. Fuck you talking about. Even with the weird ass season two bullshit. Cause I didn't adapt it right. Still better. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. Hell's Paradise is pretty good. Pretty good. But, like, there's no really old ones here. Which is also the other thing that it's like, I, I know we're gonna get some people talking. Because the oldest one here, well, it's not Yu Yu. It's gotta be Dragon Ball, right? If we're including original Dragon Ball. Which, obviously, we're not. But in terms of, like, airing. Is it? Hold on. Because Yu Yu Hakusho is 90s, right? If we're talking about the anime? It is. Okay, let's see. Manga release. 91? And it got an anime a year later? I forgot this is in the fucking time of <laughs> filler. They didn't give a fuck. It was like, you get an anime right away. And we're gonna run forever. <laughs> it's so funny. <clears throat> God damn. Hold on. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. This is, in my opinion, not an amazing list. Y'all might even call it a shit list. I feel bad because I know this guy's already probably getting piled on. Let me actually look at these replies. <laughs> call the night over attack on Titan. Worst list I have ever seen. You don't have attack on Titan top five. I refuse to read your article. Okay, that's kind of a shit take. Kind of a shit take. Attack on Titan's great, but I could definitely see at least five. That people would prefer and I wouldn't be mad at. You know, even I would probably put five over Attack on Titan. 
Kagurabachi should be on this list. I'm not going to lie. Okay, now I don't feel as bad saying this is a pretty bad list. <laughs> I don't feel that bad. Especially the Call of the Night. Oh, yeah. I had JJK muted because of spoilers, but we don't need that anymore. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. This is just supposed to be for the anime. How did JJK make top three? It hasn't even adapted all of the Shibuya arc. Or the best arc. The Maki arc, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> well, and then there's a shit now that's pretty damn good. I don't know why I'm losing my voice over here. I was pretty good until I started recording this fucking video. Oh my god, that makes this even fucking worse. That is an awful take. Same with Call of the Night, because it only has, like, a little bit of the manga, right? I don't know how much it adapted. Well, Attack of Titan makes sense. It didn't do the ending. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Fuck, man. I'm not going to lie. This is kind of bad. <laughs> it's kind of a bad list. You know what means Full Metal Alchemist. <laughs> Shut up. If there's no Code Geass in your top five, it's a troll list. That's also kind of a bad take, in my opinion. I like Code Geass. I don't like it as much as a lot of their fans do, to be honest. But I still like it. <laughs> this is the nicest way to say you, you, like, don't fucking love a series. Like, I still like Code Geass, obviously. I just don't, you know... You know? That, too! I forgot about that. I wanted to mention that when I saw One Piece of Naruto, but I was waiting because I assumed for some reason it might be higher and I thought that was going to be like a hot take. But Bleach isn't here. Once again, Call of the Night is here. <laughs> it is here. Slam Dunk isn't here. That's another one that was better than Call of the Night. <laughs> oh, is Maggie Shonen, right? Or Magi? Magi is pretty good. That could have been there, maybe. I don't know. It's kind of weird, because the more than thinking about it, the more shonen that pop into my mind, it's like, fuck, this is a really hard list to make, though. <laughs> yeah, Demon Slayer above Naruto, AOT, and One Piece is kind of crazy. True. Oh, if Gundam shonen, yeah, there should probably be one of those, I don't know. Like I said, you know, I I I don't have like a full list of fucking battles shown into my or, or I mean shown in demographic manga in my face right now, so I can't really like make my list. Saint Seiya, I'm always curious. Did Saint Seiya not really hit in the USA? I like Saint Seiya. I don't know if I would put it in my top ten, but I really like Saint Seiya. Vinland Saga and AOT. Oh, I thought you were talking about the list. Vinland Saga definitely could have made it. Is Vinland Saga shonen? It is. <laughs> Cute. Farming rage clicks gonna be more obvious, true. See, this is what I was saying at the start, you know? Your personal top anime. Uh, but it is putting anime with significant significant cultural impact up there along with the quality of the show. Dragon Ball is the best thing I've ever made, period. This is live, we'll see. See, I get why y'all make fun of him. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm so surprised Bleach didn't make it. Inuyasha's good. Once again, eh, you know, I'm not mad that it's on the list. But it definitely above Call of the Night. <laughs> definitely above Call of the Night. <laughs> oh my god, bro. <laughs> uh, AOT is signing, bro. Okay, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Dragon Ball Z is amazing, but saying it's better than One Piece and Naruto is wild. I don't know. See, Dragon Ball is one where, like, even if I don't think the story is always, like, 10 out of 10, it's one where you can kind of get away with the I just like it more type of opinion, you know? My Hero clears all this mid? Okay, buddy. Y'all are going to flame me for not mentioning certain shonen, but like I said, I can't even... They're not even in my brain right now. Like, all the fucking <laughs> shonen I've read. If that makes sense. I mean, I guess I could pull up the Shonen Jump app, but even then, that's just Shonen Jump. Not Weekly Shonen, or Weekly Jump, or whatever the fuck it's called, in all the other ones. Shaman King. I know a lot of people like Shaman King. I thought this said D's Nuts. That does not say D's Nuts. <laughs> no Berserk? Well, that's, one, that's actually signing, buddy. 
Just take the video games, true. Yeah, I don't I, I, I don't even know what to say. This is a goofy ass order. Like it's just really random, isn't it? Like assassination classroom. Buddy went assassination classroom and not bleach. I don't know, it's just like you get like weird ones and then you get good ones and then you get more weird ones. Like he definitely watched Call of the Night this year and was like, I'm gonna seem real different with this one on here. I'm just kidding though. All jokes aside, he probably this is probably his genuine opinion. This is probably his genuine opinion, which I can always respect more than like the circle jerk. Hey everybody, I like the series that everybody likes thing, you know? Like half of the three by threes on Twitter are the fucking exact same. At least this isn't. At least this isn't. I don't know, buddy. I don't know what to say. Hey, if y'all enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, all that bullshit. Kagurabachi video coming out sometime in the next week. If you didn't like the video, unsubscribe, dislike, comment mean things. I don't fucking know. Uh, to me, not to anyone else. YouTube, am I allowed to say that to myself? I don't know. Don't comment mean things. Just, just leave. <laughs> Hope you have a wonderful day. Mochi says hi.